hello and welcome to another video and uh, in today's video we will see what is deep seek and uh, how deep seek is outperforming chat gbt and uh, other large language models so let's begin so the first thing that we will uh, look at is this chart here which clearly shows that how deep seek and uh, open ai uh, they are neck to neck in all the key performing areas so this clearly demonstrates that uh, how the deep seek is taking over the global market especially for the uh, ai or the generative uh, ai so in order to use the deep seek you will have to visit their website which is the chat.deepseek.com and uh, this will allow you to use their free version so you will have to create an account so you need to sign up for the deep seek again basic stuff nothing special and uh, once everything is okay you need to then log in and uh, once you logged in you will come up to the home screen of the deep seek so let me just uh, quickly log in so i have prepared a prompt a very basic prompt nothing special and uh, i will ask the deep seek to create a website uh, for me that will uh, that will allow me to convert the weights into different units for example uh, kilograms into grams or into pounds and so on so that is a very basic prompt so let's see how this will work using the deep seek so i have pasted the prompt so build a, build a weight converter website that converts weights into different units use fancy colors and emojis okay that's all so i will send this prompt to the large language model so straight away I'm getting the response from the large language model, which is DeepSeek. So here's the code for the website. So let's see what else this will show me. Great. So it is creating the CSS file as well. And the response speed is uh, quite good uh, especially if you compare that it is a free version it is not a paid version excellent so here we have the javascript file as well and now there's the instructions that how to combine all these three different type of files and how to run all right that's all so okay now the the good thing is that is not available in the chat gpt is once you have the html code so we have the option here to run html so if you click here on run html okay so here you have the weight converter so you enter the weight okay for example 50 and then you choose the unit you want to convert it to pounds convert Okay. so this will show this will uh, work but since all the the javascript and all the different files are in uh, are separate from the html so in order to get the full functionality you will have to use uh, all those files combined together okay now what we can do here is one more thing that uh, please put all the code in one file okay now i just gave a single line prompt and uh, since the large language models they have the memory function so uh, the uh, deep seek or, or chat gpt so they know that what is the context in which context i'm uh, giving the instructions so the system the the deep seek or any other llm knows that i'm talking about the previous uh, prompt And now we have just one file great so now if we click now again first have a look at the code so this is just one file okay just one html file okay that includes all the the css and javascript each and everything now if i click on run html so here we have okay it's a beautiful uh interface 
and everything is fine now let's put some weight here for example uh, 150 and uh, i'm putting the weights in uh, kilograms i want to convert it into pounds for example and convert okay so uh, i have so 150 pounds equals to 68 uh, kilograms and 2400 ounces so if i convert it to and let's say it is 150 kilograms and then if i say convert so that's how it is converting the weight into different units okay so, and i can close the preview and later on uh, if if you want to put it into the production definitely uh, you can just uh, you know put this file copy the code and put the html file on the server and again that is the next step but that is how uh, at the very basic level you can use the deep seek now this is something new uh, which is the run html now this is not available in chat gpt even in their paid version it is not available there so in order to run the html you will have to copy the code paste it onto some uh, live preview kind of website or put it on on the html file and then you you can see whether it is working fine or not if it is not working fine you can come back and then ask the uh, the the chat gpt to make any modification now for example if you want to make any modifications here let's say so for example uh, let's say there's one functionality we want to add um, send email okay or subscribe okay let's say uh, please add the Let's see what it will do. So this time the website will have one additional functionality that will allow the visitors to get subscribed using their email address so i just uh, wrote a single line so the the uh, deep seek will automatically determine that what color or which type of button to use or which type of input field to use so here's the code including all the javascript css inch and everything now if you click here on run html so here we have weight converter as we saw before and then this functionality all that has been added get subscribed your email subscribe now and definitely you need to set up your email and everything uh, that is the next step but that is how the user interface will look like and uh, if i just try to convert and if i just put any email subscribe now yeah thank you for subscribing but I, i'm sure that uh, the the back end functionality is not currently working because there's nothing to about uh, like any server or of, from which server the email will go or on which on which uh, list this email will be added so that is just the user interface but for the other stuff definitely you have all the functionality so here you have the function javascript function for the subscribe and everything so that is the very basic uh, introduction of the deep seek and uh, next we will see that what else we can do using this amazing large language model which as people say is uh, much better than chat gpt much uh, cheaper much more affordable than the chat gpt and uh, we will also see that uh, in order to use the apis 
So what is the cost comparison between the chat GPT and the DeepSeek?